Welcome. In this transplant educational segment, we will offer information about the various types of donor livers that can be considered as you move forward with liver transplantation. The University of Washington Liver Transplant Program feels privileged to have you as a candidate for liver transplant. During your transplant evaluation, you will be meeting with one of our transplant surgeons. They will review your medical testing to determine if transplant surgery would be a good option for you. Your transplant surgeon will also discuss different types of donor livers, such as deceased liver donors, which can include standard criteria donors, expanded criteria donors, and donation after cardiac death. Another option available for patients would be a living liver donor transplant. We will review these different options in more detail. Livers from deceased donors is the most common type of liver transplant surgery. During this surgical procedure, a donor liver will come from an individual who has suffered brain death. Brain death is when the brain stops functioning due to irreversible damage and is considered indicative of death. Due to the significant shortage of donor offers, your transplant surgeon may speak with you about other types of donor livers, such as expanded criteria donors. This can be an option for some candidates and can offer transplant to some individuals by shortening the waiting time to transplantation. Expanded criteria donors may include the following characteristics, such as a donor with an age over 70, a donor with a high-risk social behavior, or a donor with a history of active virus, such as hepatitis B or hepatitis C. When our transplant surgery team evaluates your medical case, they will look at a variety of factors, such as your specific liver disease, your age, and current state of health in order to determine if an expanded criteria donor could be a suitable option for you. Please know that all liver donors are carefully screened for all infectious diseases. Donation after cardiac death, or better known as DCD, is another type of donor liver. These donors come from a non-heart beating donor. In this type of donation, the donor has irreversible brain injury, but does not meet a formal brain death criterion. Families allow the heart to stop beating, and then the organs are recovered in the operating room. During your transplant surgery visit, your transplant surgeon can offer you more information about risks and benefits of this type of donor liver. Another option available at our center is living donor liver transplant. During this surgery, the diseased liver is removed and a healthy living person donates a portion of their liver to another individual. The smaller piece of liver that is transplanted can regenerate or regrow since the liver can grow new liver tissue. Most living donors are relatives or friends and undergo extensive testing to determine if they can donate a portion of their liver. Living donors can also be non-directed or altruistic donors. These donors decide to donate a piece of their liver to somebody in need and have no relationship with the patient. During your transplant surgery visit, your transplant surgeon can offer you more information about donor livers. Patients who get listed for liver transplant may wait for months or years for a life-saving transplant. Sadly, not everybody will receive a transplant. To prevent unnecessary deaths, living donor liver transplant, or LDLT, has become an option for some patients. So what are the advantages of a living donor liver transplant versus waiting for a traditional deceased donor liver offer? When a patient chooses living donor liver transplant surgery, the wait time on the transplant list is shortened. In addition, a patient can be transplanted prior to becoming too sick. 
LDLT also offers the benefit of excellent liver quality due to a shorter delay from organ removal to transplantation. Many patients ask who they should contact for living liver donor questions. If you have a friend or family member interested in living donation, ask them to call our living donor liver transplant team at 206-598-0337. The living donor team works directly with interested donors to determine if donation is possible. Having a separate group to manage living donors ensures that there is no coercion or conflict of interest in the living donation process. Individuals who are evaluated will be informed by the living donor team if they are a candidate for this type of surgery. Patients should not call their transplant coordinator to follow up on donor testing as they are unable to discuss donor test results. The hospital follows HIPAA, a federal law that requires us to protect sensitive health information from being disclosed to others. Once donor testing is complete, the living donor team will inform your donor if they are a possible match. Donors are asked to inform you of our team's decision. If matched, a surgery date will be scheduled. Thank you for watching this segment on types of liver donors. Should you need additional information, please reach out to your transplant nurse coordinator. This concludes our liver transplant educational seminar.